Oh my dog, Dylan, are you alright? Uh, yeah. Here, let me help you up. Thank you. Amelia girl, what you doing here? Miss Principal, would you care to explain? Well, um, I'm sorry to inform you all, but the newspaper club is being cut. <gasps> You can't do that to us! Oh, yes she can, Amelia. Look, I'm sorry. I had no choice. The Board of Ed made more budget cuts to the school, and it's either we get rid of textbooks or clubs. We don't need textbooks. Yeah, we can use our phones or the computers. I'm sorry, everyone. It's just not in the budget. I mean, you're not the only club getting cut. There's the chess club, the gamers club, the mathematics club. Miss Principal, I hope you don't mind me noticing, but there seems to be a very similar trend between all the clubs getting cut. Yeah, they're all clubs that Amelia hates. I will let you know that as the Board of Ed assistant, my daughter's opinion does not reflect on what clubs are getting cut. Oh, so how was the decision made then? The clubs that we have chosen have gotten cut because they don't have at least 20 members in the club. That is the new minimum we set. Therefore, if the club doesn't meet it, then it cannot run. Hold on, that's a lie. I have a friend who's in mathematics and they have 23 pets in the club. How is that not a minimum of 20? Ugh, this is such a waste of time. Look, your club's getting cut. I'm sorry, but it's just not in the budget. So you have five minutes to get out of this library before we kick you out. This is so unfair. Well, Ashley, sometimes life can be unfair. <laughs> Griffin! Griffin! Oh no, Griffin! Griffin! You're evil, you know that? Ugh, whatever. Amelia, wait! Yes, Dilly Bear? Is this what you wanted? To take away their club? Oh no, Dilly Bear, of course not. I just wanted back what was rightfully mine. You. If you want me so badly, then why are you punishing them? And Maddie? Uh, Dylan, why are you still thinking of that loser? Amelia, would you stop it with the stereotyping? Maddie is not a loser. She happens to be a very nice pet. And you would know that if you would just try and be nice to her. How can I be nice to her when she's trying to steal you away from me? No one is trying to steal me away from you. I got over you on my own. Maddie had nothing to do with that. Can't you just accept that I've moved on? Why don't you? You've got plenty of guys trying to throw themselves at you. Because I don't want them, Dilly Bear. I want you. Well, I don't. I like Maddie now because she's kind, caring, smart, and most importantly, not mean to other pets. Well, Dylan, if you want to be with Maddie so bad, then you're going to have to deal with the consequences. So you're not punishing them. You're punishing Maddie, aren't you? If you really care about her, Dylan, then maybe you'll come back to me. And then maybe, just maybe, I'll think about giving them their club back. You're cruel, Amelia. Just cruel. <laughs> well, I'm not the one who's a burden to the newspaper club. You are. Good luck. Griffin, come on. Griffin. <laughs>
Come on, Griffin, we'll figure something out. Yeah, Griffin, it'll be okay. Come on, lift her up your head. Griffin, please, you're making me sad, and I don't like to be sad. Oh, my dog, Griffin, please lift up your head. I cannot do another two-hour crying session with Talia. You guys don't get it! I have the chance this summer to work at the new Pa Times. Their program would have helped me get into college. And this newspaper was the last part of my portfolio. And if I don't submit it, I can't get accepted. My dog Griffin, I'm so sorry. If we don't have a newspaper, I can't submit anything. Oh, Griffin, we'll, we'll think of something. We got to. Yeah, Griffin, we'll think of something. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll be okay, Griffin, we'll think of something. <laughs> Maddie! Ah! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Dylan, you can't be in here! This is the girls' bathroom! Come on, Maddie, it's after school. I... Whatever, look, we really need to talk. Okay, um, I'll meet you outside. Okay. Hey, hey. <sighs> Alright, what do you want to talk about? Well, first off, here's your geometry book that you left in the library. Oh, thank you. And second, I need your help. Look, Dylan, if you're really in need for a tutor, I can set you up with somebody from the mathematics club or something, but- No, 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 Maddie. I don't mean I need a tutor. Oh. Then, what do you want? Amelia thinks you're trying to steal me away from her. So she convinced her mom to make the Board of Ed make some budget cuts. So the newspaper club is being shut down. <sighs> Typical Amelia. Yeah, I know, but it's worse than it seems. Griffin got accepted to work at the New Paw Times. But he can't get accepted unless he submits the newspaper that the newspaper club makes. But because there's no newspaper, he can't get accepted. That's awful. I feel so bad. So you'll help them? Oh, dog, no. What? Why? Sure, I feel bad for Griffin, and everyone in the newspaper club is nice, but I need to focus on my grades right now. I can't get into Barkwell University without good grades, and being in that newspaper club was stopping me from studying. Plus... I've dealt with Amelia's drama for years now, and I'm not in the mood to get back into it. Please, Maddie, they need your help. I'm sorry, but they're on their own. You can't get into Barkwood without the newspaper club. Ashley told me how this was the last requirement you needed to get into Barkwood. You have good grades. You'll get accepted for them. But you won't get accepted if you don't fulfill this requirement. Now please, help them. Ugh, what is with you and jumping in front of my car? If you want to get run over so badly, then just go jump on a highway. Amelia, you realize you are literally taking away pets' livelihoods because of this club, right? Oh, please, stop being so dramatic. I'm not being dramatic, I'm being realistic. You know that boy Griffin who runs the newspaper club? Yeah, he has the chance to work at the New Paw Times. Don't you see how big of an opportunity that is? Yeah. So what? So, you are taking away his opportunity to work at a big company and go to college. That's not fair. You can go to any college you want. Your parents can just buy you in. Him? He doesn't have that kind of luxury. Uh, how dare you! I could get into any college and my parents wouldn't have to pay. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You know that if you got rejected, your daddy would just pay them to get you in. That's not true! God, Amelia, you are so stupid, you can't even see past your own lies. Look, I just hope you give this a second thought before you really mess up some pet's future. It's really unfair what you're doing to Griffin, and all the pets who are in the newspaper club, including me. I want to go to college, Amelia, and I know that you don't, but other pets do. Look, just please get away from my car. Please.
I know you're up to something, and I know this is just some little scheme to get revenge on me, which I don't know why you're so concerned with me, considering you dumped me over five years ago. Just get over it already, jeez! Man, I regret being your friend, and I feel sorry for any pet who thinks they are your friend, because I know deep down you're just an unfriendly soul who doesn't care about any pet else but herself. Move out of my way before I run you over. Griffin, come on, seriously, you have to leave. I ain't moving. Miss Principal, it's impossible. He's not gonna leave. What's going on in here? <gasps> Maddie! Maybe Maddie can try and talk some sense into him. Either way, we gotta get him up. I said I ain't moving! <sighs> Griffin's been having a tantrum since Amelia told him that the newspaper club was shutting down. And now he won't leave. Girl, I am going to fight for this newspaper club. I ain't giving up. I want to go to college. Griffin, I know, and I'm sorry, but I had no choice. The Board of Ed made budget cuts. There's nothing I can do. Now seriously, if you don't get up, I'm going to call security. I know it wasn't your fault. I know it was Amelia. That little female dog. Hey, watch your language. Sorry. I'm just angry. Amelia gets everything she wants. I don't. This opportunity was my chance to start a life, to help my mom, to get me to college, to help me be a journalist. And now I got none of that. I know, Griffin, and I'm sorry, but I'm willing to help you in any way I can. Well, then help me by getting my newspaper club back. I can't do that. They made cuts to our budget. I can't afford to support your club. Maybe the school doesn't have to support the club. What you mean? I mean, why don't we start a club outside of school? Amelia and her mom doesn't have control over that. Whoa, that's actually a really good idea. Yes, and I can sign it as an outside of school club. That way, the newspaper can still be read in the school, and Griffin, you can create the newspaper, and Maddie, you can fulfill your requirement for Barkwood. Yes, that's perfect! Maddie, you're a genius! <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> then it's settled. The newspaper club will still be in action. Thank you, Maddie girl. I can always count on you as a friend. Yep. Thanks for the ride, Ashley. Anything for you, bestie. See you guys tomorrow. Maddie, wait. Yeah? I know this whole thing with Amelia has been crazy, but I am really into you, and I would like to take you out sometime. Um... Oh my dog, say yes! Say yes! <sighs> Fine. You can take me out. Really? <laughs> yes. Just nowhere too fancy, please. No problem. Oh yes, we really do miss you. Please come visit us soon. Oh, I know. I understand scheduling can be hard. Oh, but you have to come home. Oh, I know. Daddy does miss you too. Oh, Amelia, she's doing good. Mother, who are you talking to? Oh yes, give me a second. It's Annalise, dear. Annalise? Let me talk to her! Oh yes, um, gotta go, bye! Trinity, I haven't spoken to my sister in ages. Why didn't you let me talk to her? Because you made a fool of me today, child. What do you mean? I did what you asked me to do. I got rid of the club. And then I had to make up some stupid excuse as to why. And I lied in front of that stupid dog girl and she caught me for it. 
Well, I'm sorry. Maybe you should have came up with a better lie. Or you could try a little harder to keep a boyfriend. That way I don't have to go walking around cutting clubs and lying to other pets. Uh, do you think I didn't try and keep Dilly Bear? Because I did. And he's in love with some stupid nerd. Which means you're clearly not keeping the boys interested. Ugh, have I not taught you any better? I'm sorry? Ugh, you're such an embarrassment to me. You're lucky your father loves you, or else I would have put you in an orphanage years ago. Trinity! What? It's true. You're such a disappointment. No wonder why your birth mother left you. My birth mother loved me. You don't even know her. How dare you try and make assumptions? I can make all the assumptions I want. Your birth mother left you. I, on the other hand, am giving you a good life that your birth mother could never have given you. Now stop complaining and go to your room. Sigh. <sighs>